Hello everyone! So I'm gonna be doing my favorite kind of video, which is when I talk about you guys and make you feel all good. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what men like about, I mean what men find attractive about you. Like why are they attracted to you? What, are, what do men say like, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> or something. I never use that word. Like people, people say hot to describe somebody. I don't do that. But like I'm talking how other people talk. Like what do they find attractive about you? <laughs> what do men like about you? Why are they attracted to you? Like what is it about you that men, you know, find attractive? And I'm gonna be going over pretty much general stuff like physically and like mentally, like the way you act, your personality, like everything will come through in the cards, okay? Because I pick from a lot of different decks, so every aspect of you should come through in the cards, okay? I tried to get a little bit of everything so we can figure out what it is about you that is um, attracts men, okay? So, um, hmm. There's something I was gonna say, but whatever. Let me get some gum and start eat this. I don't know, I found this like Spice Girls gum in my in my room. I was like, what the hell? Where the hell did this come from? I remember like Spice Girls guys? Spice Girls were like so huge. <laughs> I remember like, oh my god, they were like huge in the 90s. Spice Girls. Oh my god, they were like Oh my god, like, I used to love their music. I, I I loved their music. I thought they were so, like, that was, like, the very first, like, girl group I ever, like, seen, or, like, they're from, like, England, right? And, like, they were huge, like, in America. Like, they even had a movie. They had, like, that Spice World movie. <laughs> like, I never saw it or anything, but I liked their music. But I, I remember, like, they were really big. Mm hmm Now they all do different shit. My favorite one was always the baby one, <laughs> Baby Spice. I always liked her. <laughs> I don't even know her name. What the hell is her name? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why this gum is in here. I don't know where I got this from. I must have got it in some. I don't know. I found. Found... I have a bowl of gum over there. It was in there. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, if you pick rose cards. <laughs> I love crystal, the crystal of love. Okay, what do men find attractive about you? Lay out the cards over here so I can just look at them. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't look at the cards, okay? So this is going to be coming to me. I mean, I like shuffle when I shuffle. I, I mean, I see them, but I'm not like sitting there looking at them, studying think, and anything. My, my intention is like... I have my intention to focus on something else, not interpreting the cards or anything, so. Let's put this over here. Okay. Let me just take a look at the, um, the rose quartz. Uh, <laughs> right off the bat, the number one thing, if you pick rose quartz, the number one thing is, I want to tell you something. Men just want to get you pregnant. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> there's so many cards of children here. Or something about kids, because like there's like three cards of kids, no, four cards of kids on here. It's crazy. There's fertility, children, family, the marriage card, another card, the Rilakkuma card with the family on it. I mean, okay. And so you might be a teacher at, or work with kids or you work in a daycare or you're like a pediatrician or some bullshit, okay? Something to do like that. Or you're very childlike. You have a childlike innocence or they want to get you pregnant. Something about kids. Youthful. Men find you very youthful looking, you know? When they look at you, they feel like a kid again. Oh, okay. It's not, I'm getting this. Okay. <clears throat> so, like, when, when men look at you, it's like they feel excited again. Like, they, like, fall. Sorry about that, guys. I had to, like, cut it because I got a phone call. Okay, so I had to, like, take it. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, there's something, like, very youthful about you. So, when men look at you, they see you as, like, they get this feeling, like, falling. Like, you make them feel like a kid again. Like, 
like refreshing, like youthful. They, they feel like excited, like you, um, you might be very childlike or like kids stuff. You like to be around kids. Um, you're very young looking or young at heart. Something about youth and youthful and children, you know? You might look very young for your age, okay? And people are like, ooh. Now, guys, when I'm talking about all this shit, if something is like, if you're like, you don't look young for your age and you're all, all wrinkly and shit, <laughs> then don't, that's not what I mean. I'm, just take what you're like, oh, yeah, I am like that. I do, I am this way. Or I do like children or work with children or something. But you're like, just take what resonates and, okay? Because a lot of people are going to watch this. Different people are going to watch this, okay? So um, only if it applies to you and you're like, oh, yeah, I could see that then that's what you need to focus on, okay? Men see you as, like, long-term potential. They want... When they look at you, they see a future with you. Like, they think about things like family. This attracts them to you. They think about investing in you. Because they see you as very powerful. It's like you're like, you're like, um, yeah, it's like they, they dream of having like a family. And like, they're like, um, yeah, I could totally do it that with her because she's good with kids. She, she's like a family type person. She likes family and like, uh, um, gets along good with children and likes children, or maybe you don't like children, but you're like good with them. See, that's like me. I I can't stand children. They're fucking annoying as hell. But for some reason, they like me. It's like, oh, God, shit. <laughs> so it could be something like that. That people just see that children are gravitate towards you, maybe because of the way you look, maybe, or the things you do, or maybe like uh, just your aura um, attracts children. And people, now, um, another thing that's really interesting and kind of funny is this envy card came up. Men like that, like, <laughs> people are jealous of you, okay, and want what you have. Like, um, like, men notice that, uh, you might be like, uh, men notice that, like, other women, like, uh, you seem to have, like, an ideal feminine, this is like my uh, divine feminine pile. You seem to, like, other women seem to be, like, um, jealous of you. And it's, like, men find that to, um, they like that because it's, like, they feel, it makes them feel good because it's, like, they, like, got, like, something good. Like, they got something great. They, like, won the prize or something. It's, like, it makes them, it gives them a secondary, like, inner, like, ego boost or something because they're, like, oh, yeah, that's my wife or girlfriend or whatever the hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine <laughs> like I'm with her or something you know like um or like if it's not like you're not in a relationship with them like men are attracted to you because like they see that you do get a lot of like jealous people and like, people are jealous of you for some reason okay and men notice this and it's kind of because like if you're a divine feminine you're very much in your feminine energy like me yeah because we have the fertility card here and everything this very much can be like there's like rabbits on here oh there's my chinese zodiac sign is a bunny oh look i'm a bunny poster <laughs> i'm a bunny poster then mine from my japanese friend bought me this oh no she made that for me um yeah but i like that's my chinese zodiac sign which represents fertility okay because rabbits like um i don't know like rabbits are like or bunnies are like known for like reproducing or something i don't know why that's a symbol of that but like they do i don't know why i don't like but that's my chinese zodiac sign so i know that this like i know a lot about this and like and they see you as like on like a perfect mother you know like you're soft and cuddly and warm you're all the attributes that they could see, like, they, they wish that they had a mom like you. Because you're, like, the perfect mom, the perfect divine feminine woman. And there's a moon right here. You might be very, um, spiritual and connected to nature. There's, like, like flowers and stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, my pink element here. 
might be very connected to nature. You like, um, also the color purple. You know, a lot of purple cards here. You might like purple. Purple might be your favorite color. You look good in purple or some, some shit. I don't know. Purple's okay. Um, yeah, there's something very, um, you're very good with animals. Yeah, because there's eggs and like, um, you, you might, you have this thing about you where you're very good in na with nature um, and taking care. They see you as very caring. They see you as, um, yeah, very feminine. They just see you like you, you stand out from the rest, you know? Let yourself sparkle and shine opal. You know, my very first memory of like any kind of gemstone in my life was opal. You know, as a, like in my memory, um, like looking far back, what was the very first gemstone or anything that I ever like um, can remember ever seeing or hearing about or anything was opal. Because in the kitchen, I remember I was living in Saudi Arabia, and in the kitchen, my mom had an opal ring on the counter and I have these memories of always looking at it because it was like really if you know what opal looks like it's really sparkly and shiny and it changes different colors and stuff like that and these two women on these cards look very much alike you might have long blonde hair or long wavy hair um long luscious hair light colored hair or you just have like long hair you don't have to have long hair I'm just saying like long hair um might be something that you like your hair is very nice and men are attracted to that. Maybe you do different things with your hair or something. You do different hairstyles. I am noticing that too. Yeah, the hair is coming through um, very strongly here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's like you stand out. Like I was saying about that opal thing, like an opal uh, changes, it's like multicolored and like, um, yeah, so like I have that memory. Like that was the very first stone I ever saw in my life. I have a memory because I always used to ask my mom if I could like have it like I don't even know what the hell why I wanted it or anything I was just I just used to like looking at it and I remember that like I was really small and I remember it was always there in the kitchen I always used to go like oh I'm gonna change his colors <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was doing but yeah I have that memory but um so yeah they see you as like um very enticing to look at you're like colorful like um here's another card of family you know you get along well with others, children, maybe you're a teacher or some shit. Uh -huh. And pets and animals. Yeah, there's a lot of animals on these cards. Lots of pets and animals. There's pets. There's a dog. There's a puppy in the kid's hand. And then this one, they were holding the animals. And then here, you have a baby and like there's a stuffed animal and stuff. So they're very like kid friendly. Kid friendly. They like that about you. That you're very soft and cuddly. Here's a Rilakkuma card you got. Um, yeah, see? Like here's the mom. It's Rilakkuma. And the kids. The family. Right? You're good with the children. Or good with like your mama bear. <laughs> or like you're very good at taking care of others and care a lot. That's nice, yeah. And that's very, very, like, people find that attractive. I mean, that's why you're attractive. That's the main thing. Okay, they see you as, like, wife material also, because this is the marriage card. They could totally see living with you. If not marriage, then they could totally see living with you, because this is the card of marriage and having a house. Like, hot for. It's like a ceremony, and, like, number four represents, like, you know, stability and everything. So, like, um, yeah, it's like you're, like, they're total, like, um, they could see having a nice, long, lasting life with you. So that's really beautiful. And you're very powerful with this, um, Eclipse card. It's like, you have the power. This is like, see how it's like this, this reminds me of like a, like a hole, like a, like a, a not, it's like, what am I getting? I'm getting something here. It's like you birth life, like a, not like, um, giving because it says powerful it's like you have that this thing about you that's very powerful it's the like this eclipse looks like a hole right and so like the power of change you, this is a very powerful thing life there's nothing more powerful than life right because what without, without life what is there what, what the hell you know there's nothing more powerful than you know more amazing than a woman who can 
uh, give birth, right? So there's a lot of things about family. They see this in you. They see that you have a very, you have an aura about you. A lot of purple again. See, you all this damn purple. Ugh. Purple, purple, purple. So much purple all over these cards. <laughs> Some purple too. Okay, so that's that's your reading, guys. If you picked rose cards, okay, you're very good with children. You're very attractive. People want to get you pregnant. Um, men want to get you pregnant and shit. <laughs> and they're attracted to you because you're friendly and nice, and you're, you're good and caring, and so you're good with children. And they could see having a family with you. So you're like long-term material, long-term potential. Like, so that's good. Yay! Okay. Next pile. You pick this crystal. Appetite. Pick this one. This is your reading. Why do men find you attractive? Or what is, what do men find attractive about you. Why do men find you attractive? Huh? Lay out the cards so I can look at the hand. Get up. See what I'm getting here. Why do men find you attractive? What do they like about you? What attracts men to you? What do you Men, what is it that stands out about you that men are like, mm, that's really attractive? Huh? <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be very different from pile one. All of them are very unique, so that's good. to get the, the the energy that I'm feeling here okay the energy that I'm getting here is could be people people you pick this woman you pick this one men find you attractive because it's like you're different from whatever the hell they dealt with in the past and it's like you're like you know like um, you're very like um, good at It's like the, the men, men are going to be attracted to you because you understand like how to, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like, there's this thing about like, you know how to communicate with people in a healthy way. So it's like, there's a lot of, there, you know how to look here. Yeah. Okay. Healthy communication and relationships. We have the eight of wands in reverse, which is the which is the um, card of communication, like emails, technology. When it's in the reverse, this is making me think that, and then we have hostilities here. Okay, look, it's making me think that the people who picked this in the past, like nothing was ever talked about, and um, men are attracted to you because you get to the bottom of things and want to figure out, like, you have good communication. The way you speak, speaking is coming through. Your voice might be very good, okay? You might have a good way of communicating your ideas to people. And men are like, wow, like, that's so attractive. Like, the communication style, the way you, ex like, get things across to people is very clear, okay? That's what I want to make. You're very clear and certain. Oh, yes. That's the word I was looking for. You're very certain. You're like, you know what you want. That's why with this card's ending and, and beginnings, we have Kali here, right? She's like a, um, I love this goddess Kali. She's so cool. Like, look up, like, stuff about Kali. <laughs> I like looking at her. Um, um, endings and beginnings. You know, like, what works and doesn't work, and you're not afraid to, like, put a stop to something and, like, uh, fix it and restart something. Like, if you see the bullshit is happening, you're going to say, you're going to call it out. You're going to be like, yeah. This ain't working, let's fix this shit. Okay? Kind of like that. And you're very blunt when you do it. Hostilities here. Hostil you have a very, like, straightforward. With this hostilities cards, you're very straightforward. Like, you are not afraid 
to just say what the hell you mean. And like men are kind of like that. Most men are very stupid. <laughs> like they have to be told something like very bluntly. Like women are much more like they they communicate more with like their emotions and like you know how it is. Like they communicate more like um, in a different way than men. Men are much more blunt, and you have to just spell shit out for them. Although I like give them goddamn instructions. <laughs> So the men like this about you, that you are like that, that you communicate to them in a way, whichever way that it may be, it might be writing, it might be the way you write them text messages, it might be the way you speak, the vocabulary that you use, whenever you tell them to do something, you do it in such a loving and <clears throat> professional and calm way that anybody could understand it. It's like, wow, it's like with her, I have such clarity. It's like you're like they they under when men find this attractive about you that you're very like straightforward clear um keep an open mind is here and it's like it's refreshing because like let the past go it's like in the past they had all this shit going on like they dealt with people who did not know how to communicate properly or have healthy communication in the relationships um, w with this card in the reverse, they like this about you because you're not just like over here, like um, avoiding thing, avoiding talking to somebody or not speaking to somebody or like the way you communicate, you do it and you do it intentionally and purposefully and you do it in a way um, that is like... Um, they don't, they like this about you. They like that you're like, um, you, you mean what you say and you say what you mean, you know? You're very open and clear. And now here you have this card of Hawaii. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, oh y'all, send love and prayers to everybody in Hawaii right now. And y'all, I love Hawaii, okay? I go there all the time and stuff. In Hawaii, I'm like, it's not doing well. You know, uh, Maui Islands are burning and people are dying. A lot of devastation is going on over there. Okay, it's very sad. It's like unbelievable. It's like, oh my God. It's like, it's like very, 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 very bad. Okay, so send prayers and love to people in Hawaii, okay? Everybody loves Hawaii. Who doesn't love Hawaii? Hawaiians are awesome, okay? So, um, keep an open mind. Um, and ha this Hawaiian card. <laughs> really cool in Hawaii. I remember this scene from the show. It's like you are open um, and clear. And it's making me think of like clear water. It's like you're very straightforward about what you want. If you want to go on a vacation, it's like, God damn it. This is what I want. This is where I want to go. And this is how we're going to do it. And this is what we're going to do when we're there. <laughs> so like that. You're very like detail oriented. You might be a Virgo, Capricorn. Or um, I'm getting that Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody very structured in your mindset or the way you approach things um you might be um i'm virgo moon so like i'm like that like my mind is all like fucked up <laughs> like like i have to have things like like i'm very like if something isn't like right and specific and like it's not the right color or something or like very very like if it's like one shade off or something i'm like god damn it it's not perfect i hate everyone <laughs> That's the, that's the kind of energy like, like that you give off because you're very precise and very clear. And people uh, and men like this about you. They, they know what they're getting. They're not, they know what the hell they're getting when they, um, like what you see is what you get is kind of a thing with you. It's like you're an open book. Yeah. Yeah. You're an open book. You don't keep secrets and all this bullshit. See? Just let this pass, let the past go and bring love into the situation and endings and beginnings. It's like, you don't keep secrets or let things that from the past like hold you back. Like, everybody has trauma and stuff, guys. You know, it's like everybody has trauma, but you don't like use that as an excuse to act stupid and fucked up, like, um, to your partner. Like, you, people see you as very mature and you know what the hell you're doing because you learn from your mistakes. You're very clear. I'm getting very, um, like matter of fact kind of like energy from this pile so men like this about this. this is a good pile like people who pick this crystal um appetite crystal it's like you're very yeah an appetite is about like um 
it's a it's a stone uh it's a crystal about like um yeah letting the path reformation and like um re um like scientific kind of thing like cell rejuvenation and like overcoming addictions and stuff like that and like becoming a new you so like that's very fitting for the people who pick this like endings and beginnings like that kind of a thing like you you're very like you know what you get I mean, they know what they're gonna get and they like this about you they like that you're like um no bullshit very straightforward direct and and honest yeah honesty yeah it's like you're no bullshit that's all i gotta say about that <laughs> okay you're like very like uh, boss energy yeah boss energy i couldn't even see aries people picking this pile like bossy people think i'm bossy people say that about me all the time i'm like bossy my mom says that about me she says i boss her around and stuff and i'm bossy and shit just like yeah whatever. i'm not bossy i just tell it like it is get it <laughs> okay what's the next one pick this one petrified wood this is petrified wood guys petrified wood it's pretty cool Ooh, it looks like um this is giving me some sort of vibe of like uh, let me see if the cards match up with what i'm feeling from the crystal <laughs> okay what do men love about you why are they attracted to you? Why are men attracted to you? Okay. Hmm. Okay, this pile, you get shit done. First off, right off the bat, you get shit done. Right off the bat, I can see that. You're like, when you see something you need to do, you go and get it. Okay, steady progress, achieving your goals, and then we have the eight of cups that's so like when you see something needs to be done you walk you walk over there and you go get goddamn do it like um if it's some a purpose that needs to you like have um yeah you're like one of those type of people so like you do what you gotta do okay that's very attractive to men people who pick this yeah and you make a lot of you achieve a lot like that you're a go-getter very achieve you achieve a lot you set goals and you achieve them that's pretty cool yeah hmm. you set goals and achieve them look at this they're all they're all happy <laughs> like yeah yeah damn it i did it yes <laughs> i like celebrating they're like yeah we won Woo like uh you're very like uh enthusiastic i'm getting enthusiastic yeah you're not afraid to go after um, this is very aries energy yeah i want to be surprised if you're an aries and you pick this shit okay you have like that go getter out oh look i said go getter says so go outside <laughs> go outside so um i'm getting you also like to travel yeah because yeah this is giving me travel vibes very much so very much travel um I think maybe mermaid vibes too, fairy. Oh, something about nature. You might like gardening, guys. There's little fairies or something on here. Like, what the hell? So you might like, um, Cordelia. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah, so, yeah, you go after things that you want. You're not afraid. You're very brave. You go after things and you 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 take on life full force like you're not afraid of anything you're like yeah you might have a lot of courage because you know you know like what you want and you're gonna go get it yeah also this pile um men might be attracted to you you have psychic abilities possibly Um, we have Archangel Metatron here with the third eye. Six, six chakra. Okay, so 
No, not not psychic abilities. You have insight and like wisdom about you. That's what I mean. Not psychic abilities. It's more like wisdom I'm getting. You have, you you can see things from another perspective. You have insight, and men find this attractive. Like men see you, and they're like, oh, like um, or she has a lot of um. She's she's been there, done that, so she would know. Like she has insight about that because she's experienced a lot. Yeah, this is like a person who like you've experienced a lot of stuff. Men find this attractive that you are so like um. You're not afraid. You're not afraid of anything. And in the past, maybe men, the men who you're dealing with, like they don't like that bullshit where women are like afraid of shit. Like, <laughs> like shit like that. And yeah, they don't like that. Well, you're not afraid. You're very, yeah, I'm getting very bold and courageous, very, like, adventurous kind of energy from this. So, like, you're fun. Yeah, don't these people, they nah, look like they're having fun. Like, you're, you're really, like, a go-getter, like, optimistic. Like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this shit. Okay? Man. Yeah. This nice card here. Huh? You're very close to achieving your goal. You achieve anything you set out to do. So they feel like you're very like, um, you can, you would be the kind of person to motivate them. And you're a good person to have them. To, they love this about you. People find this attractive. You're like a person that like, people want you on their team. Okay. Because they're not like, oh shit. We got this girl. Like she, uh, she knows what, she knows what to do. She knows all she wants. She always gets what she wants. You know, like she knows. You know, she's gonna, if she said something, she's gonna do it. Like she knows <laughs> what she wants. She knows exactly what she's talking about. That kind of a thing, okay? You give it to God. Yeah, healing and answers. Yeah, I feel like this, this pal, you're a very experienced person an achiever um so you might attract a kind of guy who likes um um like women who have a lot of accomplishments or some shit um like you you have a lot of accomplishments maybe this is the kind of if you pick this probably maybe you have like your phd or something or multiple degrees in school or something like that yeah or maybe like um you've had lots of different careers that might be something men find fascinating about you and they're like whoa what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's cool. <laughs> right? right? And they're like that. They they think you're very interesting. Yeah, interesting. They find you to be somebody who is interesting. Like, oh, that's how you do it. That kind of energy. They they uh, and uh, men find you to be a they like you have a purpose in their life. Like calling in your soulmate. Like, when you're there, you're there for a reason. They like to have you around because you're not just some friend that's, like, there because, like, you're just there. You're just the one that tags along or anything like that or anything like that. Like, you're the kind of people like you or um, men love you and are attracted to you because they know that, like, you're the type of person, like, they, they know your worth, okay? They know that uh, you're going to get shit done. And that with you by their side, they can go places in life, you know? They can have adventures, they can go places. Oh, yeah, very much about traveling, exploring, getting things done, exciting. Adventures, you might like sports and bike riding and like hiking and like mountain climbing and jumping out of airplanes and like shit like that. <laughs> it's like go outside and do crazy crap, right? <laughs> You're that exciting energy. Yeah, you're exciting. Men like this about you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and if something doesn't work out, you're just like, whatever. Give it to God. You don't really harp on things too much. You're always moving forward, right? You're always moving forward, so they always feel like there's always something new and exciting with you. Um, so you're always moving forward, and that's why they like you, because they feel like... Um, Every day is a new day and we're going to do something new, right? It's like they like this about you, that you're, um, 
um, they see your growth, that they can grow and actually, yeah, they see that they see that you're like a nurturer, and like, like, like if they have that, they like you because they can see like the actual like growth and like in you that you like. Hmm, what am I saying? It's very like you like learning and shit like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's do the last one. <sighs> selenite. We picked the selenite one. I dropped this on the floor and broke it, but like it's still good. <laughs> Selenite. So if you pick selenite, this is what men find attractive about you. Okay, put all the colors here. See, the hell is going on? Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice, pretty, pretty. See what I'm getting from this. Let me just look at it for a second and see what the hell's going on. Well, yeah, people who pick this, you're a very patient, grounded, uh, realistic, understanding person. You're very understanding, yeah. Yeah, you're very understanding. You're very, um, um, yeah understand people you're very patient I'm getting that too men like your patience and your um, practical very practical I'm getting very earthy energy here very earth like energy very Capricorn kind of energy um, maybe Taurus um, energy uh, Taurus or uh, something like that a very practical uh, you might like um, Men like that you are very um, down to earth, reasonable. Like I'm getting that. Ooh. You take your time with things, and they feel like very much like at peace with you. I'm getting a peaceful energy here. It's like you're very like um, peaceful. Yeah, you might be a healer if you, um, uh, and people see our uh, men like you because, like, um, yeah, they feel a healing energy from you. You are, they know that, like, um, you're good at healing, and, um, yeah, you might be into, like, herbal medicine or holistic medicine or something. They find that, like, cool, fascinating, and they're like, <laughs> um, There's something like a cozy vibe or like I'm getting like a vibe like um like a very like a uh, vibe of men like that that, that, that uh hmm yeah it's like um you don't jump to conclusions okay and you don't assume a bunch of bullshit. You're very like, uh, uh, like, let me give you an example. Like, you don't assume things about others. Men find this attractive about you. That you're not like a gossiper. You don't gossip about people. You don't assume shit. Okay? You don't like, um, go around just like saying a bunch of shit that ain't true. I feel like from this part, the people who pick Sal and I, you might see somebody who goes to the gym and works out. I'm getting that. Yes. You're very fit. Yeah. You're very fit. Men like that you take care of your body. Yeah. Mm hmm. Men 
and love that you take care of your body. And that you, yeah, I'm giving you very natural vibes from this. You might be like somebody who's into like holistic medicine, <laughs> like, um, uh, you might be a healer of some type, like you might do like, um, certain kind of like, um, detox things or go to the gym and, um, you might like be very aware of what you put into your body, that kind of a thing. Like you're very conscious of that. That's coming through very strongly. You're very mindful. Okay. Men like this about you. You're very mindful and you take care of yourself. Yeah, you don't um, um, assume a bunch of bullshit. You don't jump to conclusions. You're very like um, slow and like um, I don't know. I'm getting this very this energy of like um, worth waiting for. It's like a good things like come to those who wait. You know that kind of an energy. It's like. It's like you keep getting better and better. <laughs> like uh, it's like yeah, that kind of an energy. It's like you every time they see you, it's like you just keep getting like more beautiful, more because you take care of yourself, right? You're like that kind of um, person who ages very well. Like you, like every time they see you, you like just get better and better. Hmm. Yeah, and it's because you take care of yourself. You go to the gym. You look after yourself. Um you're very mindful um you do all these kinds of like um health things healthy things you eat healthy maybe um you're very like logical and um you're like more like i'm getting like a realist person <laughs> like you like like you like to see results yeah you like to see results men men know like they see the like when men look at you they're like oh yeah i can see all the hard work that you put in and you're you're like that because you like you take care of yourself you put in the hard work and it takes a lot of dedication to do what you do you know you research certain things and you understand how to um go about things in a way and get and uh, in a way that's like um the best way to go it's like um i'm getting very safe energy here like people feel very safe with you like comfort zone like they feel very safe with you i'm getting that too it's like they know if you give advice like they can take it and you would never give anybody bad advice ever like that's like coming through also they like that you give good advice and like you're the type of person like you know what you're talking about mm -hmm. be very fit like I said have a very nice body like a healthy body like very like um toned fit and um, um and maybe even a little bit of muscle I feel yeah a little bit um so they like that they like that health um that, that you're very healthy and you take care of yourself and you can uh, um they see that you have um that you value your health and stuff like that yeah men find that attractive about you so you might be the type of person who attracts men at the gym or some shit <laughs> or like uh or you might be like a holistic person who likes like uh, attracts men who are into like plants and like holistic medicine or like um all that kind of a stuff yeah So that's what men like about you. You got like this healthy mindset, this healthy body, and this healthy way of going about things. You're very, um, you get like you sh show what you put into things. Like you can show like what you've done. Like you, you have like you, you, you can talk because you can show all these things that you have. Um, you, you put in the work. And everybody knows it like you're like everybody notices like men notice like the effort you put into things and they like that that you put you're not like a quitter 
oh yeah you don't quit things so this is the type like you won't quit like you won't just leave them or ghost them mm. yeah yeah this is a this is a man like you you're not the type of person that will do that kind of weird shit <laughs> you think things through and I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that because that might hurt somebody. Or I'm not going to do this. You're very mindful of the things that you do. Okay? Alright, guys. I hope you like this. Bye.